Good morning! Alright, folks. I, I can't even make this up if I tried. So, this Waifu 3080 saga gets deeper and deeper. It's so complex. We're going to dive into a whole bunch of it today. We're going to do a teardown. I'm going to show you all the stuff that's been said on the internet about this card and more. And I'm going to tell you a lot of good details. So, bear with me here. Watch the whole thing. This is weird. So, Newegg is showing a release date of 12.7, and that's uh, in like six or seven days now. Even though I've bought this and other people have bought this, I think what's happened is I got a bad batch as well as everyone else, and they're hoping that these next batches are going to be better, which um, you'll see why I wouldn't trust that either. Anyways, we're going on 7.69. It's supposedly 11.90 or 11.00 bucks. It was not. I paid 5.79 after a 200 million rebate. I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay 600 bucks for that at all. Um, again, 700 bucks. I I just wouldn't buy it. I'm giving you no tree fitty. It said, how about just two fitty? I said, oh no, it's only two fitty. What is that sale on Loch Ness munchies or something? No, he was angry. Damn right, I was angry. Not you, the monster. He was about to kick you. If you scroll down here, just the first little review on the side, runs very hot. <laughs> Cons, runs very hot. 86 C in my experience under low ball game and fans are always on due to high temps. That's not a good sign, folks. So we're going to go on to other reviews. Okay. Now, what I like to do is look at negative reviews first. Wait. Nobody's left a one egg review? What about two egg? Nobody's left a two egg review. What about three egg? Oh, okay. Well... We got, uh, oh, it arrived broken? Cool. Uh, oh, 85, 86 C? Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I would love to buy a card that runs at thermal throttle. Yeah. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. What kind of people are we gonna be taking advice from here on these four star reviews? Oh, let's say someone who likes to put beer inside of their computer. Yeah, we should really take advice from someone who puts beer inside of their computer because that's just a real smart idea. Alcohol, electronics, you know. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around. Here, do you, bud? And the other review. Uh, good if you want a 3080 with no headroom to OC. And it gets hot, blah, 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 uh, 81C while gaming. Uh, that's actually lower than most people. So look, went on sale with a $200 gift card. No brainer. So a lot of these people are, are, are talking about how they got that $200, you know, rebate or whatever. So anyways, we're going to stop there on these reviews. Except I left three. Where am I at? They don't exist. Newegg has to approve all the reviews and they will not approve mine. What's funny is Beer Man left his on 1128. I left mine way before that. Way before that. And I didn't say anything bad about it. So let's get into it, folks. I'm going to just nail this thing right off the head with uh, saying this is not good. Don't do it. And now we're going to get into the teardown and you'll hear me rambling. So I just wanted to record this little intro real quick. All right. So we're going to show you the teardown of the Yeston 3080 waifu card. This will probably be the 15th million time I'm recording it. So bear with me. All right. I'm going to take a sip of espresso while we wait for this to play. I'll skip a little bit ahead. So there's my dog. Hello, Sammy. Right here we have a sticker that covers up one of the screws, only one, and it's the one closest to the um, to the other label down there. And you could find these stickers online, or you could print them yourself. Tweezers were working to kind of peel it up, but as you can see, it started to flake off. If you want to preserve the originality of this, I would highly recommend. Uh, sourcing some beforehand. That OK sticker in the far left hand corner, there is nothing there. So yeah, um, we're gonna just uh, keep keep going at it. So we got screw, screw. One thing I recommend is having something handy to put your screws in so you kind of keep track of them. And uh, oh, he fell. Pick him back up later. 
you've got the screws on the back of the PCI Express bracket right here. Um, they're very small. They will um, get lost if you aren't careful. And then you've got some screws over here attaching the PCI bracket as well. And then you've got another one attaching the back plate. You've also got three hidden screws underneath the cooler itself attaching the back plate. You can't remove the back plate until you remove the shroud and everything else. You've got those four fan shroud screws. This is where I would start. I would start with removing these first. And um, you'll see in a second, the fan shroud will actually come off pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to yank. You don't have to really try too hard to get that off. I'm just showing off some of the tools I have here just in case we need them. Um, I was trying to find some magnetic bits because um, some of this stuff is just in a weird spot. And you don't want to drop them in the cooler. So it's good to have a uh, good magnetized screwdrivers. Now this comes off easy. You can see right here there is a um, cable that ties all three of these fans together. And you can try to pull it, pry it, uh, but your, your best chance is just kind of yanking at it. Um, tweezers didn't work. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Don't do not do this. Don't do this either. Don't try that. You will, yep, yank it. That's all you got to do. Just check your connector. Make sure you're good. Watch where it's uh, looped in right here. Put it back there. Now, these fans right here, they are YXS. Bear with me. YX. S and it's GP. These fans have a weird mounting um, mechanism where it's just like an X pattern. They hook in here all together to the board for the RGB controller out here. Eh, you're not going to find a replacement for these. I, I've, I've uh, been told that they just don't exist. So here's some Lee and Lee 120s. These are 120 millimeter fans. I would love to see somebody custom make a uh, bracket for these. It is possible. I've seen people put 120s on here. They just didn't look that good because they kind of zip tied them. Um, as you can see, it's not that much different. And you could probably hack it if you're good. Um, we're going to continue the tear down here. We got another screw in the back side right here. You can grab it with the tweezers so it doesn't fall. Um, if you need to and you notice there's a date code right here um, If it's made after the third month of 2022 it has a three-year warranty instead of a two-year warranty that I'm told I cannot verify that I Keep removing these and a little bit equal pressure I really recommend taking your time on these because if you remove one and it just flings out at you you lose it. It is under spring tension. And you look, um, wiggle, 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 and pull gently, and it will come off. Notice the thermal pads are still left on. Um, if you peel um, <clears throat> too abruptly, you might crack or break one of these. They are like a putty like material. And you notice there's a ton of thermal paste right here. Look at that. That is just so much thermal paste that is just that's the most thermal paste i've ever seen and notice how it's a gray color we'll get into that later but it's a gray color it's not a um a white color it's not like what most people have seen on theirs and you notice these thermal pads are very crudely laid um like this one's actually smushed a little too hard and it's kind of like almost cut here um smushed out and then this one's barely smushed at all so it doesn't look like it was getting equal pressure and part of this is this cooler is very uneven. It's very crudely made. Um, yeah, I just, I don't think that this is a good cooler. I really don't. You can see all the components on the board and reference them to other people's. Um, this did not appear to have micron memory, which some of the other ones had micron memory. I'm not sure why some of them are using different memory, but I do know that is a thing with certain manufacturers running out of VRAM and using another brand. It's not a huge deal, but there's those three screws I told you about. Right here, right here, and right here. You have to remove those before you're able to actually tear down the rest of the card to get the back plate. 
if you were to place thermal pads on the back side of this card of the VRAM, you can direct a little bit of heat off this VRAM and transfer it to the back plate here, and you might be able to take your core temps down a few degrees. Um, I've had experience with this in other cards, and it did work. So that VRAM right there, try putting thermal pads on the exact opposite side of that, and it might draw a little heat away because the VRAM is very hot. It gets 90 plus C degrees. And if you're um, using the same cooler surface as your VRAM, which in this case will actually transfer from the VRAM to the core because they're so close together. Pads are very tacky, very dough-like. They do use the same thermal pads as the EVGA 3080, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 90 for sure, maybe 3070. But uh, you can go to a brand called Critical Pads and they do sell uh, replacement pads for those um, I think they're the For the Win 3 Ultras, and maybe even the Water Blocks for EK Water Block might use the same. No, I think those are different. But anyways, um, wiping this thermal paste off is just a challenge, so you might want to get like a little very, very soft bristle toothbrush and scrub it out. Um, honestly, if you were able to fully measure and correct the thermal pad sizing here here and here and here and make sure everything is touching equally um you could probably get these things to run a good bit cooler um i think that the way that they're put together really fast and really crudely um kind of is um part of why there's some that are good enough to get you by and then some that are just horrible and won't game at all we're seeing a lot of people um, in China on the forums, I'll show you in a minute. Their temps were hitting, you know, 90C, 85C, and look at this thermal paste. Like, have you ever seen that much caked on, thick, thick, goopy paste? Like, that's just maddening. And I was comparing it to some other paste, but you could scoop it all off in a ball and, like, throw that at someone. It had to have been, like, a whole tube of paste almost, like a little mini tube. Had to have been a whole mini tube. I try to uh, clean off the surface right here and it's just not happening, Chief. Um, so it takes you a second to clean it, but it's got a sort of a weird surface. It goes rip, 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 rip. Very weird surface. Um, it's not smooth. You could probably polish it and, you know, do a good wet sand on it, maybe get a little bit better contact. Um, there's the uh, sticker. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. But uh, other than that, these thermal pads are about 1.8 to 1.9 um, max some of them are as low as 1.6 to 1.7 it just depends on how it was squished in there that's how I remove my pads I use that little scrapey tool uh, like that boom and then I lay it down on something I drop it first you know but we go in here we basically just scrape it scrape it scrape it scrape it scrape it scrape it so that's about it for the teardown. Um, you get your Q-tips in here and you can clean it. You can use a, um, a toothbrush or whatever. But now I'm going to show you the forums, what they were saying. Um, if you look right here, this is a message I got from a subscriber. He's talking about how some of them were suspected to be crypto mining cards. Um, one, one person said, oh, that can't be true because they're LHR. Well, I know that that doesn't matter because I know miners and a lot of miners don't care if a card is LHR or not. Some people prefer LHR because you can actually get more power efficiency on some of the LHR cards and better temps. So like that whole like LHR thing Nvidia did didn't matter and it got unlocked quickly anyway. So they were able to get like 80% unlocks, 85, 89 and so on all the way up to 100 now. So don't believe that. Um, you got links here. Um, if anybody wants these links, just go to Billy Billy. It's a kind of like a Chinese YouTube, and they've got lots of videos on thermal testing. You can see right here where someone was uh, doing thermal measurements and their VRAM was hitting memory temperature 100C. That is dangerously high. And ask anyone who uh, mines crypto and what happened to theirs after a while. They got errors and issues happen and. Sure, it can run that high, but it starts doing error correcting. It starts having issues, um, I believe, if I'm understanding it correctly. But I, I do know for a fact, I had a card when it had higher VRAM temps of 95 plus, 
um, I would have issues with it and if I would um, uh, underclock the memory a little bit and get the temperatures down the VRAM like under 92 under 91 it acted a lot happier so like I was saying earlier with getting the VRAM temps down um, here's the order where I paid 779 at the bottom and you can see I got a $200 gift card back which is you know people are paying out the yin yang for these and there's no use this is a picture of someone who mounted two 120 uh, millimeter fans with zip ties I guess you got to do what you got to do when you don't have a way to return it or something um, I'm sure some of these people didn't have a way to return it now look at this this fan um, this is the ball bearing is telling you how to take it apart you know possibly like change it out with something else and use the same fan blades I guess um, I, I wouldn't dive deep into this at all this is just nuts to me I think that's very dangerous um, to try to do something like that because you're gonna run the risk of like either breaking it or permanently damaging it or something so we're gonna go on to um, a couple more links and info this is the back of someone else's PCB now if you notice look at their thermal paste application here it's white it's clean it's crisp it's evenly laid and look at those thermal pads they don't look the same so it just goes back to all the different batches um, this one was used in micron memory it, a lot of the things were the same but also a lot of the things were not the same so yeah here we go There's another picture of it and look at the date uh, this one was three something I believe um, and, and yeah I just I really don't think this is a good card there's too many issues with batches and quality control and um, thermals everyone's having issues with thermals it's just it's absolutely nuts how many people are having issues like there was one guy who did this and he was able to get good temps but I mean that's nuts for you to have to put that kind of fan set up just to get good temps and even decent temps they weren't even good weren't even good um, here's someone right here this is the memory temperature of 100 C hotspot 96 GPU temperature 81.9 and this is just running in a regular case um one of the other things is you cannot overclock this card some people are saying see here's a computer case it's in uh it's got you know top airflow all that good stuff i mean it, it's it's the average in zxt case most people run um here's some more videos there's there's tons of stuff that you could find about this card if you really want to um dive deeper into it uh hit me up i'll get you all the links for these things and um yeah I hope this video was enjoyable. I hope it was useful. And I wouldn't recommend this card. Um, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> All right, well, with that, I hope this is the end of the video. Maybe this is the end of the saga. I won't know. We'll probably get some more information. So, hope everyone has a good one. See ya. Oh, and in case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>